Hey, I just thought I'd line my lips to get started for this. All right, uh, we're comparing Pat McGrath and Lisa Eldridge's, Lisa Eldridge's, uh, lipsticks. Cause I thought it would be a good thing to do. And I think some people asked me to do it in that video where I tried Lisa Eldridge's lipsticks for the first time in how to wear red lips. Anyway, uh, we've got two here. Duh. I'm going to do one side of my lip each. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I have Lisa Eldridge Velvet Fawn, this color right here. Stunning, gorgeous, love it. Uh, and then I have, these are both matte formulas, by the way. Pat McGrath Christie uh, 048 Matte Tra uh, almost said Trace, Matte Trance Lipstick. A little more pinky. I tried to get, obviously, as close as I possibly could. Uh, so if you look at them, they kind of seem like they'd be similar. Like they're both very velvety looking. In fact, I kind of feel like the Pat McGrath one looks even more like matte, velvety. I don't know. We'll see. The Lisa Eldridge lipstick has a better weight to it, just saying. Anyway, these are very similar. Uh, so I'm gonna swatch them. This is Lisa Eldridge. Fuck yeah. And then this is Pat McGrath. So they both swatch nicely and they seem really similar. So this is gonna be interesting. Um, all right, so I'm going to do, I guess, the Pat McGrath on this side. Already very pigmented. Definitely way more pinky, but I feel like I won't really be able to say anything until I do the other one. So it feels almost like moussey very velvety um it has like a teeny bit of a sheen when i put it down on the skin but it's definitely like more i would say more satin i don't know if you can really see that like sheen i do like the bullet because it's very like pointed at the top i think the lisa eldridge ones are a little less pointed so so right off the bat i will say the bullet of the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks feels smoother on my skin. The Pat McGrath one felt a little bit scratchy, just a, just a teeny bit. These colors aren't super close, but they're like literally as close as I could get them. The Lisa Eldridge lipstick goes so beautifully with this lip liner. All right, so the Lisa Eldridge lipstick might feel like a little more matte right off the bat. And the Pat McGrath one looks a little more like satin to me right off the bat. However, I will say that the pigment is very similar. Um, they're both super saturated, very pigmented, definitely velvety. I kind of feel like uh, now that I'm looking at the Pat McGrath swatch, it's becoming more matte and less satin. So it looks like it kind of like dries down a little bit. When I like rub my lips together, this side feels a little more like, I don't even know how to describe it. You know when you put like a, a face oil on your skin and you rub it around? It kind of feels like that. Whereas the Lisa Eldridge lipstick on this side feels a little more creamy. I don't even know. I don't know. All right, you guys, I'm going to live my life a little bit and just kind of see how they hold up and which one is better because right now they're very similar. I obviously, because the colors aren't exact, I do like prefer the Lisa Eldridge color. Uh, what is this called? Velvet Fawn, this is beautiful. I wore this actually to my birthday dinner, just saying. <laughs> um, and this color just isn't like doing it for me right now, but it's as close as I could get it. Is this gonna be a new trend, Habsies? Um, all right, so it has been a few hours. Uh, I have been eating and drinking, and honestly, it seems as if the two of them faded basically the exact same way. <laughs> it kind of seems like the Pat McGrath one stayed a little bit more on the satin side. Um, the longest, I think, and I mean, they both feel like basically exactly the same. Like when I look at them up close, they look like they faded the same way it just kind of seemed like the finish throughout the pat mcgrath one looked a little bit more satin and the 
Lisa Eldridge lipstick seemed more matte throughout. But other than that, like throughout eating and drinking and all, I mean, they both held up pretty well, I think. Uh, it looks basically the same. It's kind of crazy. So it's very difficult for me to <laughs> pick a winner here. Um, overall, I obviously like the color of the Lisa Eldridge lipstick a lot better. Uh, it just works so beautifully with my skin tone and also my lip liner. I would say I like that the Lisa Eldridge formula stayed consistent throughout. Like it was just matte the whole time. Whereas the Pat McGrath lipstick went on a little bit more satin um, and then seemed to kind of like lose moisture throughout, if that makes sense. Uh, so it was a little bit more like inconsistent, but maybe if you have super dry lips, it would be better. But yeah, I mean, I think they're both really, really beautiful. So I would, I would recommend them both, but those are the differences that I see. Um, all right, guys, that's it. I hope that this like gave you some information. I don't know. Um, I was kind of hoping that there would be a more clear cut distinction between the two, but turns out there isn't that much. Um, yeah, let me know if you have these lipsticks and what you think the differences are, or if you prefer one over the other. And uh, let me know if you wanna see more comparison videos, I guess. Okay, bye.